Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please press the like button. If you like them even more, please subscribe. Um, Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 9.17am. Alexa, what's the date? It's Tuesday the 6th of September. And Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 18 degrees Celsius with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect showers, with a high of 22 degrees and a low of 14 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Knock knock. Who's there? Isabel. Isabel who? Isabel not working. I rang four times before I started knocking. <laughs> right guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. Well, I think most of the kids have gone back to school. I haven't got young children, so I haven't taken any children to school today. Um, today I got up a bit later than usual. Um, I've not been feeling that good. Um, I woke up feeling, you know, you do, you get feel a bit, uh. Um, so basically, I took Max out for a walk last night. I have a place on the R Rochester Riverside where I go to, where I sit and reflect and relax. And if people get me down, instead of shouting and getting upset with them, I go and sit there and I call off. And that's what I was doing yesterday. I found it difficult yesterday. And I'll tell you why. I walked out of my flat um, last night around, I think it must have been about quarter to seven, getting on for seven o'clock in the evening. And it's starting to get darker in the evenings as well. Um, so I, I walked out of the flat, walked down the bottom, Common Creek Wharf, along the riverside, and no problems going walking around up down towards the co-op and past Costa Coffee onto the field. There was, I think people sat on the bench, there was people walking on the field and I couldn't let Max off, it was quite busy. So there was an Asian man with like a black cap on his head, walking with his white girlfriend with a large brown dog. And you know, so I wanted to let Max off the lead, that was pissing me off, so I had that couple behind me. There was about two couples in front, one had a dog called Honey, and there was an, you know, it was quite packed and busy. But before I got towards my reflection place of meditation, I got up halfway up the path where there was a man with a woman, a young woman with dark black hair down her back and he was throwing a stick and a ball to his dog and he went Ugh! and of course I'd had that to do with someone on WhatsApp who'd sent me a picture of a, a really thin girl with long black hair with, with supposedly this guy but there was an Indian man behind me with a black cap and his white girlfriend and, and the girlfriend had a sort of squeaky voice and she was going come on come on like that that's what it sounded like and I, perhaps that was a real voice I don't know but it sounded squeaky and it started to irritate me so I went off to my reflection place and sat down and my mother called Jennifer while I was sat down there now she's called this morning and left me a message she was on the phone for 30 seconds and she went, hello, Janestra, and then, ugh. And I don't know who I'm talking to WhatsApp. You never know who it is, do you? Because I, I said some things, I'd let some steam off on WhatsApp yesterday. And you don't know who's reading what you've written or, or who you're actually sending it to. So she went, ugh, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Have a good night.
God bless. And she put the phone down. Then I walked back onto the field properly and walked walked around. And, you know, I just felt shitty and horrible because of what people are doing to me. And I'm sure, you know, when you... I'm not excessively overweight. I've put a few pounds on probably because of those takeaways I've been eating. And, you know, it's someone sick in the head trying to make me feel bad about myself every day. And when you've got demons on it, you, when you've got your own demons, when you're worried about your weight, you know, you've got personal insecurities, and someone keeps chipping away every single day, you're fat, you're ugly, and then you go to the hairdressers, you smarten yourself up, <coughs> you think you look good, and you're feeling fine, and then it's still going on. You're fat, you're ugly. And you're thinking, well, what the fuck can I do 